New PEPFAR Action Plan to Address HIV Service Equity Gaps for Key Populations New PEPFAR Action Plan to Address HIV Service Equity Gaps for Key Populations PEPFAR Release July 19, 2024 Today, Ambassador Dr. John Nkengasong, U.S. Global AIDS Coordinator and Senior Bureau Official for the State Department Bureau of Global Health Security and Diplomacy GHSD, announced an action plan to address HIV service equity gaps among key populations KPs, by the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief PEPFAR. The announcement comes ahead of the 25th International AIDS Conference, AIDS 2024, in Munich, Germany July 22-26. Despite tremendous progress in bending the curve of the HIV-AIDS pandemic, key populations, which include female sex workers, men who have sex with men, transgender persons, people who inject drugs, and people in prisons and other closed settings, remain at disproportionate risk of acquiring HIV. Depending on the specific key population, in some settings they face an 8.9 to 23 times higher risk of HIV acquisition than the overall adult population. Individuals belonging to key populations frequently experience stigma, discrimination, and violence and are subject to punitive legal and policy environments, all of which impede their access to HIV services and undermine their human rights. HIV AIDS cannot be ended as a public health threat by 2030 without addressing the unique needs of key populations. PEPFAR is building on its commitment to provide quality, person-centered HIV services for key population groups. Under the new action plan, subject to availability of funds and congressional notification procedures, PEPFAR will ensure continued robust funding for HIV-related services supporting key populations. PEPFAR will ensure no less than 7% of the overall annual budget for country and regional operational plans COP, ROP, is supporting activities serving key populations, in line with prior global budgets for key populations. Beginning in October 2025, each PEPFAR partner country or region will be provided a specified funding level to meet this commitment. Match support for country and regional key populations programming. PEPFAR will aim to mobilize funding for activities to address structural barriers that impede key populations' access to HIV-related services and to strengthen the capacity of key populations-focused civil society organizations. Beginning in October 2025, a portion of additional investments made by country and regional teams beyond their key populations' funding levels will be matched by central funds. Enhance HIV services for key populations in Uganda, the United States government, including the State Department Bureau of Global Health Security and Diplomacy, continues to be deeply troubled by reports of human rights abuses in Uganda, especially against LGBTQI plus persons and their allies. PEPFAR will continue to support the most vulnerable communities in Uganda, without discrimination. On top of other programming supporting key populations, an additional $1 million in fiscal year 2024 funding will be dedicated to strengthening and supporting Ugandan key populations-focused civil society organizations. Support a new multi-country, key populations-focused civil society network. PEPFAR will provide support for a global network of key populations-focused civil society organizations and consortia to improve knowledge sharing, capacity building, and provide insight for effective PEPFAR HIV programming at the national, regional, and global levels. This action plan will enhance PEPFAR's ongoing work to accelerate equitable access to quality, person-centered HIV services, tailored to specific key population groups. In 2023, PEPFAR launched Lift Up, a $40 million one-year special initiative to support PEPFAR partner countries' efforts to address equity gaps, structural barriers, and service delivery. In 2024 and 2025, PEPFAR is also investing $14 million for key populations' biobehavioral surveys, which will help identify and address gaps to ensure provision of equitable, quality HIV prevention, care, and treatment services. Key populations experience disproportionate levels of stigmatization, discrimination, and violence, barriers that prevent access to HIV care, Ambassador Nkengasong said. Our action plan will ensure that key populations always remain at the heart of PEPFAR's efforts to end the HIV, AIDS pandemic as a public health threat around the world. For media inquiries, 
please contact GHSD underscore public affairs at state.gov. Tags. Bureau of Global Health Security and Diplomacy.